I'm Dr. Rob Brander and I'm a surf scientist from the University of New South Wales. And in this episode, we're going to focus on breaking waves. What happens to waves when they come into shallow water? How do they slow down? How do they change their shape? How do they start to bend? And when they break, how do they break? Do they curl over and crash? Do they roll in gently? These are some of the answers that we're going to explain today. The way the waves finally break really depends on what's underneath. What's the shape of the bottom? There's three basic types. There's plunging waves, spilling waves, and surging waves. Now today behind me we've got some classic spilling waves. The bottom of the beach or the ocean is fairly flat. So the waves come in, they slow down gently, they steepen gently, and when they break, they break gently. And the top of the waves just spill down the front of the wave. That's why we call it a spilling wave. Now, Another common type is called the plunging wave, and these are called dumpers or barrels or tubes. And these happen when the waves go from deep water to shallow water really quickly. And they slow down so fast that you start to get this curl or motion of water curling over and crashing down. Now that's not happening today, the water's not deep enough. When it gets deep, the waves will start to do that. The third type is called the surging wave, and these ones are also very common, but they're totally different. They don't curl over and plunge, they don't spill, they just sort of form this bulge near the shoreline and when they break they just rush up really fast or they surge up really fast and then they rush back. And they tend to happen when beaches are fairly steep. Well the whole reason we get surfing waves is because when the waves come in from deep to shallow water they slow down and they interact with the shape of the bottom and sometimes they can bend and that's called wave refraction. So let's say you've got a, a rock headland and out here the waves are coming in nice and straight, the crests are parallel and straight and then the wave starts to get into shallower water at the headland. Well this part of the wave slows down, this part of the wave is still going fast. So you start to get this bending of the wave. And that bending is called wave refraction. And that's why you can jump on a wave here and surf all the way around. Well we've just talked about why waves break in the ocean and the different types of breaking waves. In the next episode, we'll focus on the tide. Believe it or not, the tide is a wave, and it's a lot more complex than you might think. <laughs>